What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about Revit for Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. And one topic on that uh, certification exam is adding plumbing fixtures. Okay, so let's do this. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to place plumbing fixtures. Okay, so how to do that? So you need to go to the Systems tab. And then you need to go for or look for the plumbing and piping. Here you can see the plumbing equipment, plumbing fixture, and then you also have sprinkler. So our concern here is the plumbing fixture. So I'm going to select the uh, plumbing fixture. Okay, so the family that I needed is already in this project. So I just need to go to the properties and then you can click the drop down arrow here if you want to see all the families that is loaded in this uh, project okay so you can actually search from here so let's say for example i'm going to type uh, water public okay and then it will now show you the family that consists uh, water and public on the name of it okay so i'm going to use uh, this one 1.6 GPF so I'm just gonna select this one and then we are now going to place it so before you place your uh, plumbing fixture you can check out the placement options here from the modify place plumbing fixture contextual tab so you have several options here like place on vertical face place on face and place on uh, work plane okay so this panel is only available when the selected type is a face-based uh, family okay so this uh, placement options here so we will be using place on vertical uh, face okay so to place your uh, fixture so let's say for example let me just look for the toilet here so let's say this one okay so i'll just place one here so let's say i'll just place one one here you just look for the okay so i'll just place one here okay so you just need to hover your pointer to the wall and then if you move your pointer away from the wall you will notice a cannot sign right because your water closet family is a wall hosted family so you will not be able to place your family or your uh, water closet if there is no wall so that's why you need to move your pointer all right so let us now do this so i'm going to place one here so i can press a space bar if i want to flip that okay press a space bar you want to flip and then you can now uh, click to place your water closet so let's say you also want to place a uh, lavatory Okay, so to place a lavatory, do not terminate your plumbing fixture. Just click the drop down arrow and then you can type here uh, lavatory. Okay. And then I'll be using here like uh, 22 inches by 22 inches public lavatory. So let me click that and I'll just, again, this is a wall hosted family. So we need to move our pointer along the wall like that. And then I'm now going to place it here and then... Uh, select here modify by default there's already elevation okay so there's that is the height from the uh, floor so you have two feet 10 inches so that's the height by default so you can always change that if you want so you just select here modify and there you go so if we're going to look for this uh, two uh, plumbing fixture in 3d view you can just click one of the plumbing fixture and then after that you can click the selection box just click that one and then click outside right click uh, zoom to fit there you go and then let's orbit hold your uh, shift and then hold your middle button and then you can move your mouse to orbit so we can click that we can adjust it and let's see how it looks like there you go okay What's this? So why I have a family here? So let me just select this one and delete. There you go. All right. So that's our uh, family here. 
Okay. Wait, I think the 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 family that I have placed here is inverted. So that's the family that I have deleted. So what I'm going to do, I think I must have inserted it wrongly. So I'll just go back again to the floor plan and then I'll use the tile views here so I can see the 3D model like that. Okay? And then from the floor plan, so I'm going to turn on the thin lines because as you can see it's really thick here. It's really thick. So I'm going to select here the thin lines to make it look like that, okay? So I'll just go back again to my uh, plumbing fixture and then look for my uh, water closet wall mounted. So I'll just use uh, this one and then let's place again here. So for some reason, okay, so there you go. So there's now the correct location. So I'm going to place it and there you have it and then select here modify. And there you go. So there's now in the 3D view. Okay. Right. So there's another option here if you go to the 3D view. By the way, this lavatory or this water closet that you are seeing here, this is a water closet from the link model because I have an architectural link model in this project. So as you can see, that's the name arch underscore link underscore R24, which is Revit 2024. So this is part of the link model. So don't worry about this one. I can actually hover my pointer here and then just press tab. And then it will highlight that water closet from the link model. And then you can click and then right click. You can hide that. Hide elements, hide in view elements so that you don't confuse. Okay, so I can click this one, the water closet that I just placed. And then I can select here, pick new work plane. So I can select this. So let's say I want to place it to this face here so I can select. There you go. Okay. And then after that, select here, modify. Let's click and then let's change the height here. So you can change the height here or you can uh, go to the face of the uh, view cube and then you can use your arrow keyboard and then you, you can just move it manually. Okay. So for example, something like that. Okay. Right. Or you can just type here, like to enter. There you go. Okay. So that's how you insert your uh, plumbing fixtures. Okay. And also, let's say I want to insert here a mop sink. Okay. I want to insert a sink, let's say, to this side here. So let me just go back again to the plumbing fixture. And then from the type selector, so let us look for the mop sink or sink mop so i select 28 inches by 28 inches let's click that and then i'm going to press the space bar because i want that to be placed here at the corner so before i place it so i'm going to press the space bar like that and then i can now place it here there you go and then modify again i'm gonna hold uh zoom out a little bit so that's a technique and then just click the the 3D view, click the section box, and then you can see the section box icon here. So you can pan your drawing so you will be able to move the section box there. And there you have it. There you go. So there's our uh, map sync. So you will notice also if this is a Revit MEP family, when you select, for example, the lavatory, pay attention to the uh, connector labels so the labels here indicates the connectors that are placed on the fixture and also report connector information so as you can see for the laboratory i have the connector for my example sanitary or drainage and i have a connector for the domestic water cold and domestic water hot right so just be mindful of that. So that is how the Revit MEP family works. And there you have it. So that's how you insert your plumbing fixture. So again, if you have any comments or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.